Hello and welcome to the Sean Haggerty Show. This is the first episode. I've rebranded everything this week, and I've done everything up and stuff, as you know, you, you may or may not notice. So this is the this is the official relaunch. This is the rebrand. It's uh, the Sean Haggerty Show. You're very welcome to. I think it's episode 24, 25 of my podcast, but it's mm-hmm. this is the, the they were all like Titanic, you know. A to B. This is the proper sailing now. This is the <laughs> the maiden voyage. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're very welcome if you're joining us. If uh, if you don't mind, Home Alone, myself and my wife have written a, a Christmas show and it's in the Grand Opera House this Christmas. Tickets are available now. There's not many tickets left, but goh.co.uk is where you can get those. Uh, make sure you follow us all on social media. Uh, I was going to say we all have our podcast too. You don't have a podcast? I don't have a podcast, yes. You will soon, I, I guarantee say, it. I can feel it happening in the water. You will, you will. I have so much to say and I feel like I need... Week, Say it all today, weekly, and then you'll not need a podcast. A weekly forty-five minute section to sort of <laughs> put it out into the world. <laughs> I still feel like that microphone's closer to me than it is to you. Are you? No, I. I, I, I do you I, have a fear I, of I, microphones? I feel, I feel. I feel like I need to put a restraining order against it. Do you? I feel like I, I, I think it should go one on the list. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's very invasive, Sean. Do you know what I mean? My I husband sometimes doesn't get as close to me as this microphone. Really? <laughs> 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 uh, by the way, joining me today we have David Doherty, Jeb, and we have Tommy McCarthy. How you doing? Two comedians. Tommy is a, a, a boxer as well. How are you, how are you enjoying it so far? Uh, comedy, not comedy. boxing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not enjoying the boxing as much as the comedy. You're not. <laughs> do, do, has something changed in your mind uh, in the pa- over the past six months or what? From I have to um, say thanks, Sean. I don't think I've had to thank you. Oh, no problem. No problem. For getting me to start in comedy, and um. Give, give me the, give me my shot. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you would have done it eventually, though. It I wouldn't have mattered if I had got you into it or somebody else. I've always, like, when I said to you that day on, on your podcast, I was like, I would love to try it, but I never had a, an in. Mm. And, like, people do put, put you in a box, like, mm. tell me the boxer. Mm-hmm. So I was like, people don't even think that you have, you can do anything else. You can just box. And, like, if, if you friggin' do anything at all like even when i done the first one and then start getting asked to do more shows people are going fuck i didn't even know you were funny <laughs> she don't know me like you just you, yeah you yeah. just see me so back that's it yeah <laughs> yeah but um that's nah, just i feel so like natural doing you know like doing it i just mm. like really really I'm, enjoying I'm it your ice packs yeah that's it like when you, when you go down to the venue there's no like rush of anxiety like mm. fuck's sake i'm getting in here later because mm. i do feel that way going down the the fight like getting not nervous but just anxious like i really don't want to lose and then i don't feel that way but no before gigs mm. and then after you're buzzing like you know touch wood they keep going the way they've been going but they've all went really well so you're getting off the stage and you're buzzing and like you say, there's no ice packs, there's no <laughs> aches or pains. It's just yeah, like, it's just good, clean fun. You're just going home with 25 grand less. <laughs> 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 you get nervous before you go on stage to do like, your set or, it's like, I always, I feel as if I get reverse stage fright. I love getting on stage. I love getting on and getting on and getting the mic and making people laugh. And then as soon as you get off stage, then I analyze all the things that I say yeah, and all the yeah, things yeah. that I run it all through the middle. And Joe, and Joe, so like I'm nearly af- afraid to get off stage because I'm going, oh, then the voice is so Yeah. Um, you start to overanalyze. Yeah. 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 So whenever there's somebody on before you and you're like, right, oh, let's wrap this up. So, <laughs> so they're, they're all waiting on me. To me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, that, you know, it's definitely. You know? Well, no, like I can. Well, the last last week of the Donald gig, and um, that was my first time trying a new material. Mm-hmm. So. I was like, that's the first time I got that because before every time I was in the shower, I was no like going over the material yeah. in my head. So I kind of like have it friggin' like down the teeth. Oh, but this, this new stuff, it was just like, I've been thinking of it and working on it in my mind, but nobody heard it yet. Just last minute when, um, Paddy says, do you want to do 15 minutes? And I was like, Oh, I read the oh, fucking this is the opportunity, you know, like the fullest new stuff in. So I hadn't, I, I didn't have a polish, did he say? So I was like, when I come off, I was going, fuck, I forgot to say this <laughs> and I forgot to say it, but 
you know for the next time though that's yeah and the good that. thing is nobody knows in the yeah, states what it. it's only in your head say, so yeah, yeah. everyone was laughing at it. Do you, yeah. like i don't know sometimes if something doesn't hit i do go oh god it's funnier in my head do you know, like i <laughs> do, i don't pretend but it didn't happen refer- refer- referencing it to the audience too makes it that bit funny do you know what i mean I, so even if it's not funny they'll laugh at you going fuck how stupid am i to think that that was actually I, funny yeah, in my head i, I think it's yeah. better than like pretending that that's it's good addressing it you didn't do you know what i mean yeah Just yeah like, it's like sometimes <laughs> you know it's like that? sometimes if a bottle clinks on the ground in pure silence and stuff it, it you know <laughs> and a pen on a pen <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in, in the, the build-up uh, punchlines, you know, not not during your set. There was per did se. I, did anybody? I don't know. There was there was like a wee comedy night for a very short period of time, and we played some banger called the Goat's Toe. Yes. Did you? We ever did? I did it the first time around, and the toilets were up the stairs, and there was like the door was like <laughs> like this. So like you just had no like if somebody was you could see somebody going up the toilet. It's like I, what what. I can't lead up to a punchline here because it's going yeah, to go. Yeah, and then yeah. she said, Ahem! <laughs> ah, do you know what? Never, never mind. That's it. That's leaving. That's it. How long have yeah. you been gigging for? Seven years. So really? that was like a wee break over like, just before COVID and during COVID, but about seven years. Started mm-hmm. about 2015 properly. Right. What was your first gig? Where was it? It was, so I did this thing, Back Hill. She does like all this. She's mm-hmm. like Australian. And she did this like wee course thing. And then she, we did it. It was about, over here? Day, or here in yeah. Belfast. And then she did like a, what do you call it, like a wee showcase. Yeah. And like people like me, like Mary Flanagan, she mm-hmm. did that as well. And then went and did some stuff aside, used to do a wee room called, was it was, was it the Dirty Onion, upstairs Dirty Onion, the Yardbird? Yeah, Yardbird. Was up in the Yardbird. And I used to do like an open mic, so that was the first one. And then it just steamrolled from there. Just kind of kept, yeah, yeah. kept going. Did you did you see yourself becoming a stand up like growing up? Did, is that what you wanted to do? Other people always say, "No, you should do stand up. You should do stand up." And I'm like, "I, it's all right. You say I'm not like I can laugh for you and all, but there's you know, I imagine me getting up and going, <laughs> is this thing on?'" <laughs> do you know what I mean? I always imagined like it's just not working. Like getting up and looking at people, and so then it was like it was more like a sort of like a got to a point where it's been like, "Oh, this is something that maybe I need to explore." And if it doesn't work, mm. it doesn't work. But I'll go out there and see. So do you? Want, you always enjoy, I always enjoy like making people laugh, but I never thought. Yeah. I could do it. Yeah. I was the same. And as you say, Tommy, it's, it's like when people are saying to you, but you, you're not funny or you were never funny growing up. It's, they're two different things. Mm. Being funny in a group of mates That's and your comfort zone is completely different than making an audience of strangers yeah. laugh. Getting on your For side. a long period of time. And in, and keeping them with you for like 5, 10, 15 minutes, an hour. Mm. You know, it's like a trade almost, isn't it? Or a skill. It, it, it's, and it's like, I, um, one of the things I sort of find that I really enjoy doing as part of stand-up is M- I love emceeing. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy it. But it's really hard work. It really but is, Because it? it's like you, you're, tra- I think you're trying to get like energy out of mm-hmm. people that's like maybe sometimes not there. Um, and because like, as an MC, I'm always afraid of not doing enough for the person coming in behind me. Like mm-hmm. I don't want anybody coming in, you know, like any of the acts coming in cold to yeah, our room. Yeah. I like everybody, to, the room to be nice and friendly. Um, so I'm always afraid that I'm not doing enough do you want like mm. the energy's not coming out and you know but yeah it's and so, do you like i'll be sweating and all oh. do you know like, oh, shit, i keep my phone in my pocket so i can see how many steps i'm doing across the stage so, do you know I mean? so, am, I, am i getting any physical it's fucking strava every time you come off you're I'm, you're stopping your your workout am i getting any physical benefit and that's because emotionally i'm fucked do you know what i mean i got like, do this oh. Yeah, so I thought it'd be good to get the three of us together because we're all doing that gig on Friday night in yes, the uh, Balmoral, Balmoral Hotel. Mm-hmm. Is it sold out? I think it was on the verge of selling out a few there days ago. Four tickets left yesterday, I think. Right, okay. So there's probably still four left today. <laughs> probably. <laughs> still, I mean, just, just be There'll like, be four empty seats when you go. You're MCing, aren't uh, you, that one? Yeah, I'm just yeah. with the MCs. Because <laughs> you do, you look at the empty seats, the people who yeah. are laughing. Mm. Do, you like the, do you like if you're doing this and everybody's laughing and there's that one woman like this? Mm. But she will come to you at the end of the set and go, Oh, this brings. <laughs> oh, oh, I laughed. I couldn't breathe. I all had tears with chopping my mouth. And you're like, got there, Barbara, could you tell me your face? Next time. So I appreciate you telling me this, here, but I, I, need, I, I need something more from me. You know what I mean? But that, those faces, that's what fucking wakes me up at three in the morning. 
Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't about too much Cocoa Pops watching my today when I get home, but... And she's had, like, she's them big glasses that make her eyes look big. Big fucking dirty Rashid. Big dirty Rashid. Yeah, yeah. Big, jam jars. Big dirt bag looking at you. Do you know what I mean? Like, all the other... Do you know what I mean? like, she's like the wee girl in Schindler's List. You can't have to go black and white, but she's in colour. Right in the middle of the stage, like, <laughs> Not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's brutal though because when the when you start doing stand up, everyone says to you, you know, oh, focus on the ones that are laughing. Don't you know? Don't emphasize or put too much emphasis on the ones that aren't laughing. As you said though, but I can't. No. I I'm the opposite. I have to. I have to go right. My job now is to make you laugh. Yeah. Yeah. I have 38 minutes left or whatever it is. And I'm going to fucking spend else. it trying to make you laugh. You're coming down off the stage and you're in their face. <laughs> and then, so then you're, you, and see if I can't make them laugh. You're kind of in their face. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass. You shall fucking laugh. <laughs> I mean, no, we're pushing your custom. <laughs> Thanks but, for coming yeah. in, Barbara. Barbara's my, do you know, like, I give names to, like, you know, like, hypothetical people in my yeah. head, and the woman that doesn't laugh is like, Barbara. She's Barbara. She's, <laughs> fuck's sake, Barbara. She's the first name that comes up. Yeah, she's Barbara. Mm. Fuck's sake, Barbara. So, like, a person on each shoulder, and Barbara's one of them. <laughs> Barbara's, like, up there, and then, like, I don't know, my, my um, just common or garden straight white man is Barry. Um, right, it's Barry. Just get fuck's sake, Barry. <laughs> they fucking boring names, aren't they? Barry and Barbara. They're probably like, they've been, they've been engaged for 19 years. The boy just yeah. like fucking arsed getting married. Mm. So I have a whole backstory for they them. Both they, have they, they both have an engagement ring. They both have an engagement ring. They both have an engagement ring. That'll do us. We band. We band. We band. We tiny diamond. Do you know what I mean? So it's not too goofy. Do you know? I'm not the son of a. I'm not the son of a dead the legion of a word engagement ring. Half of them are. Yes, these people don't exist. Yeah. Like, but I have a backstory yeah. and I have a whole. That's a, that could be a set. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Could be a friggin' uh, 100% series. Barbara and Barbara. Barbara and Barbara. <laughs> the, lo the long term of games. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going right and ruining all our sets. Just sitting there looking like shit, but the lab is burning. <laughs> We'll be back next time. I, I, I tell Ash Lena, I says, that's, you'll have to go see next time he's on. I'll, I'll tell, I'll go, to, I'll go straight to the girls and we'll all go. We'll all go. We'll all sit and laugh. It's so true, though. <laughs> it's so true. I, I try not to look at people when I'm mm -hmm. on the stage. We'll Sometimes you have to, look, though. Look up over their heads. Yeah. Some... Some of the gigs are on the big fucking... The spotlight's too... It's playing me, so yeah. I can't see any Glenn Arm has a spotlight, like, fucking standing line. <laughs> I <laughs> swear to God, like, it's it's blinding. You can see nothing. I've seen some of... I think I've seen um, a clip of you, you know, like, dealing with, like, a heckler or people in the crowd and going, who can I even see him? I know, I know. Like, who, who, I know. Who, how do you know you're looking at? But, who was that? Oh, <laughs> <I'm your laughs> <hand up>. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at Barbara, but it was Barbara. Boxing Barbara. <laughs> I'm just trying not to. They like involving people because then I feel that, that that's my way of dealing with hacklers. Is like if you have somebody, because 95% of the time a hacker thinks that they're helping you. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Yeah. I think we had this conversation not long ago after it was a gig at the Moy, do you remember? Mm -hmm. And there was like a wee table of like. Just like they might have been 18, 19, 20. And they were obviously very excited. The vape squad. The vape squad were out. Yeah. Jim Orla, he called the wee girl. I'll never forget Orla. Orla's face is in my head. I'm Sarah, we we blonde head. She yeah. kept jumping up. She was like, you know, the mayor like kept all night. Charge. Not two or three times. Like she got oh, ripped yeah. apart and she kept shouting back the whole night. The whole, the whole, the whole night. But then, but then she had like, there's we fell at the, at the table and he was one of them ones. Do these ones that like, if there's like, if, if, like, a millisecond of space, he feels he needs to say something to it. For, for Fiesta! Do you know what I mean? It's like a little bit... <laughs> Tra trackers! Do you know what I mean? It'll not make any sense. Yeah. It'll just be like, or like... Yeah. El Vave! El Vave! El, 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 you're, you're worth it! It's because you're worth it! Oh, how I? <laughs> you know what I mean? though, it's like word recognition or something, isn't it? Or they, they just hear something and they're like, I have to shout something out, like yeah. Tourette's. Yeah. Yeah. They just I have to. If that I had Tourette's, I'd have been able to... Yeah. So context, yeah. context yeah. if I'd have had the context of that, I'd have been, because it kept, <laughs> what's going on here, Orla? Junior mates, just said, I just, I think I did say, could somebody get them and 
Hey, Jits Bernard, you're shopping this because a wee lack of fruit juice and a fidget spinner. I think I think her sugar's low. She needs a calorie, so <laughs> that's what she needs. It was awful. Oh, it was. I, but I kind of love it now because it's like, <laughs> like maybe it's a masochist in me, but like I love it in a way because it sort of feels like, um, I don't know, maybe for you, do you know, like a, you know, like a, maybe a rough match that you've had and you've won it. Do you know, know you feel on top and mm-hmm. you feel so much satisfaction? Like, yeah, do you like yeah. if you know that that other person was like, you know, you were toe to toe with them all the time, and then, but you won, yeah. and then you walk away from it, and I go, oh, because it can't just always be, you know, it's never always going to be plain sailing. Yeah, so I like a wee bit of. Yeah, so do I. I, I. I love it. Like it, and it's, it's better than a gig that has just went so well. It's just plain sailing, and you just get home, and you almost like you're like, okay. Nothing was learnt here, do you know? I didn't experience anything here. I just totally. went through the fucking the phases, the you know. Happened. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. How many gigs have you done now, Tommy? Um Yep. Yeah. What's been the best one? Um the, Have they all the, been the, the, very the, similar? The fail was the biggest one. Mm. That was supporting Potty, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. That was brilliant. Um what I think it's really get such a good atmosphere, I think, though, kind of, mm. you can jump on. And I'm packed out, look, and I'm from West Belfast as well, so it was... Perfect. It was okay. good, but I don't know what... I think... Do you know what? I think the first time, the first one up in Colin, because that was my first time doing it, and it went well, mm-hmm. so I think usually the first time for you do stuff is usually, like, the most memorable. Yeah. So you're that gig... Obviously, I didn't know anything about comedy. I'd never, I had never even been to a comedy show. Right. Like, I just watched it on TV. So, all the whole experience in the wee kitchen before, and then I didn't know what the crowd was like, but I could hear them. Mm. And, um, it was a wee bit like Madonna, Cool Island. Do you like the Madonna? Do you like in bed with Madonna? We just all go, God, <laughs> hold your hands in the kitchen. God, I'd like well, to just was, smile I upon our show. Right, not we're going to go up here and there's going to be a case of beer and everyone's going to be going, no, like, just being funny. And I'm going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone right. had a wee station in, a, in like, a wee part of the kitchen and going over our notes and all. And, uh, no crack. <laughs> None whatsoever. Just... <laughs> Tea and farts. It was yeah. just and nervous farts. And then, like, <laughs> that's it. Like we were just getting in the zone, and then yeah. I couldn't see the crowd, but I could hear them. It sounded like rowdy, and then um, I couldn't hear what people were saying, but I could just hear, you know, like a big roar of laughter. And I was going, oh, "Fuck!" Hopefully, they think I'm funny. Like <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't care really because I drove up with Paddy, and Paddy was like, "Listen, come on, nobody's expecting anything from you. Mm-hmm. So if you're not funny." Nobody cared if you are funny, happy days. <laughs> and I was like, do you know what? That talks go. Mm-hmm. Not, not that, inspiring, but, but you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's what, that, like, <laughs> yes. fuck it. Like, and yeah. if you're in Coal Island, nobody knows you. So, like, I, I didn't have any nerves. But then when I get up, everyone started laughing. I was like, fuck, this is brilliant. <laughs> and then it, it went really well. I think it's only five minutes. But afterwards, Paddy was like, do you know what? They're not all like it. Mm. And then... But the hats have all been like, <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> so they've all been going well. And yeah. I keep expecting to have a bad one. And I thought um, that also sports club, I think, um, I was on before you. I was yeah. on the first half. So a couple of people went on before me, and, and um, Fenton was MCing. He was hosting it. And even like, he couldn't get anything out of the curtain. He was doing loads of like, he was actually being funny, but they just Man. weren't responding. And it went, fuck. This is, this is gonna be my first bad one. And the text my mate, I was like, crowd's dress, fuck you. <laughs> it's gonna be my first flap. So I was madly prepared for it to go wrong, and I get up and everyone started laughing, and then I was going, fuck me, yeah, I'm, I'm a wee funny cunt. What's first of my name in I said, fuck, I must be funny. And I gave me more confidence than I can do this, because yeah. these, no, like, these were proper, no, like, aspiring, no, everyone's aspiring comics. And, um, I just knew it again when I go, oh, fuck, yeah, see, I'm funny, Rick, because people were genuinely laughing and, and there were such a hard crowd. Hmm. Then I, I left, I didn't stay for years, but a fella I know was there and he says, you, me and you were the only funny ones there. He says everybody else was like, sorry, Fenton. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fenton wasn't performing, like, Fenton was just hosting. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no dog point. It's just glamour. Uh, <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want to people. But they just weren't getting a... Well, I didn't say it. They said it. Hmm. The fouls are said we were the only ones funny. But mm-hmm. um, it was a weird night. It was so weird. And they, 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 they were talking about uh, <laughs> this Orla. There was a girl, I can't Someone. remember her name, but it was a Scottish woman in the she crowd. Was she, she was not man. Like, I'm not in the crowd participation, but <laughs> everyone else kept doing it. Every, they got up the stage and it, I forget her name. Aunt, Ailes, 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 Elaine, or maybe it might have been. Elaine, and then I saw her fucking like, getting into her. But it just wasn't working. I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to stick to my own game plan here. And mm-hmm. it worked. You, get, you sometimes get like a wee, like a wee, like, I'm still crowd. That's what and it yeah, was. Yeah, that, it was when, there, when, yeah. I was sitting waiting, you no, know, like for the doors and all of them. I was sitting in the in the bar downstairs, and I could see people coming in. And was, it that was, you, was that you? you? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I emceed the first one of that, and it was really. So I did like the first half on stage, and it wasn't we like so then. The second half, so like we had our wee break and all came back. So I just like, I took my jacket off, <laughs> grabbed them, and I went into the audience, like into their faces. Yeah. And I was like, he's like, me fuck all. And yeah. then I'm hey, this is where he's paid. Now I don't care. Now I don't yeah, care. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm using myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use myself. So, like, I, you have to. Like, <laughs> it was like hipsters. I'd seen them all coming in there. On the bus. Me. They're all yeah. coming in. Like, parts. No, like with the, your um, muggy hats, like roll up over the ears mm. and fucking. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone wearing DMs and fucking jeans up there. Like, everything was yeah. all rolled up and just, you no know, like, we were just too cool to laugh. And then, and yes, that's fuck's it. sake, um, nobody's, this isn't going to connect. You no, know, like, mm. me being a friggin' smick dog talking. <laughs> learn, 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 learn. And they're all going. That's your podcast name. <laughs> My, we have a podcast. What's going with? So you're yeah, obviously not subscribing, but yeah. Uh, he's obviously not listening. But, uh, <laughs> no, no but it's, when I saw the, the crowd then, I was like, you got this is going to be bad. Grander. Unless you've got tits or grander, can I it falls off my <laughs> I don't know what's like. I'll take it personally. Tell me. What, what's grander? <laughs> you know what's grander. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, unless you've got tits? Unless you've got tits. Yeah, like, I don't know. Just like, I don't know. Like, you have the whole female experience or queer experience and so that's, that's where I give ear towards all my favourite comedians are like Victoria Wood Jeannie Ashere women and hmm. women and, G- and Julian Clary Lily Savage those are all my people because they have tits uh-huh. you're an objective fan objective 100% 100% gays are misogynists that's how it works gays are misogynists everybody. no yeah but um what, what is, but is your podcast a comedy podcast not really like it's just um <laughs> well, uh, that's not too close, is it? <laughs> I, I think it's venturing <laughs> far further and further away from you, just so the listeners can can hear you, because I don't want them to hear us too, and then you're just me to worry. in the distance, just whispering. So you must have say it was the misogynist. Hundred percent, an incel, a gay, a, a ginsel, a gay incel. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be ginsel? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, sorry, put that out there. And, Put your put your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, yes, you're saying you're. Well, so I'm just saying that the also sports club was probably like the, the most sim- similar that I could relate to what you were saying. You know, mm. like getting a win, going toe to toe with them. Mm. But yeah, the laugh, the 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 like the the content. But so I was fine as well. I was like nervous, to, not nervous, but prepared. Because if somebody doesn't laugh, yeah. so fuck it. Yeah. Like, they're not gonna laugh. The dead, so I was like, yeah, he does. I text him one day. I'm fucking, am I a comedian? <laughs> yeah, fucking hipsters, fucking laugh. Well, <laughs> but before you, before you got in that, then what were your, what were your expectations? What did you expect to get out of it, or how did you think the scene would be compared to how you actually now know being in the scene? Um, because I have watched like loads of stuff on YouTube, you no, know, like of American comedians talking about. Um, the we're down at the fucking comedy club and all mm, like comedy store and the store and all this shit. Yeah. And it seems like it seems so like a tight knit thing, and they don't want outsiders coming in. So I was thinking that people are gonna be texting, you know, like, and then everyone's been saying, 
Yeah. Do you feel like it is a really supportive community? Yeah, mm, like really, fucking like, really supportive. So like the just the go back to that the first one again. So I, that was the first time I had met like everyone parts to me and Polly. That was the first time I met all the Ormans. They were like right, give me the pep talks before I ran out and like I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna come out and watch the set and then after I done it, there were, everyone was hugging me and all going, that was oh. brilliant. I was like, fuck, this is such a weak community. <laughs> I was like, it's a broken set. I belong. I belong. <laughs> I'm one of you all. But yeah, I think, but I think, and I also think that we're quite lucky to be in like, like Belfast, Northern Ireland, North of Ireland, because mm-hmm. you can go from being, you know, doing an open mic to maybe being on the same lineup as somebody like yourself or Patty or Colin or Shane within maybe a year to 18 months. Whereas like if we were all doing this in London or Birmingham or... Oh yeah, it would take years, years and years and years. years. You'd need yeah. so much stage time, you know, to be able to get to where you want to be, you know. Um, so I think other than, rather than it being, rather than it being a sort of a bad thing, that it's a small yeah. sort of thing, I think it's a positive. Yeah, I think it's know, a really positive thing. Like what, I, what I've found, I know <clears> I'm still fucking only new in it, but everyone's trying to help you along the way if you're good like um um i've always knew i was funny but then like it's translated well on stage yeah mm-hmm. so like sean has fucking been giving me the opportunities and helped me out and then patty gave me opportunities yeah. in fenton and um and then like that's led to me getting booked to you know like for our places like i haven't ever asked no like can i do 10 minutes i haven't asked to be on a show that they're approaching you so the best way to get gigs is by being at gigs and by gigging yeah that's that's what i've always found like, so that's given me more confidence like obviously i'm like good at it because afterwards people were saying will you do my show or can i give your number to him and all this stuff Isn't how would you like, how would you this is getting all the psychology of it but like how do you like sort of like how would you compare that kind of confidence that doing well at comedy give you as opposed to like the boxing and sports like how would you compare those two and like the you know the different types of yeah i don't know like um there's just there's less anxiety Mm. um we're doing comedy definitely no like see what we're we're fighting it's like you're literally like put your life on the line totally, in yeah. front of loads mm-hmm. of people and then you could get hurt mm-hmm. and you do get hurt even if you win you get hurt whereas you know, the comedy at least one person's gonna laugh like, yeah. at least so you can't be the only person who finds that thing funny like yeah. you're not such a yeah, special person yeah. you know? yeah. <laughs> so there's no there's i just feel like there's no pressure with comedy but the there is and you get a buzz after it you know, when it goes mm-hmm. well but there's no it doesn't compare to winning a boxing fight like the that there's the ultimate buzz like yeah not, i can't even describe it you'd have to you'd have to go and have a fight and win like because you, i think it's the fact that you want the psychology over there break it down for you <laughs> uh, you're actually you are putting your life on the lane you're putting yeah. every everything on the lane and you're stripped back like you're in the ring with no you're in your bar belly, you know what I mean? You're, not, mm. you're more or less naked, giving it your all. And then when you win, it's like, fuck me, I've dedicated so much, so long in the camp and everything. It was all justified. Whereas, mm. It's like doing so a you are, almost, isn't it? Yeah, so you're completely buzzing and you're so much, like, you're so heavy. Whereas, and like, all those people around yeah. you, it's a different, like, you don't get that, Wah! you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the comedy, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> the comedy's like, for me, it's been, Fuck, I was burning and everyone enjoyed it and you know like you feel good about yourself but and you can't i can't sleep afterwards you know like mm, the adrenaline no but um it's just it's just it's good like it's just less less anxiety involved with let's see some people do like everyone's saying to me oh you must be more nervous getting on stage and fighting i'm going are you fucking nuts like, <laughs> there's, do you think of do you Try and imagine preparing to go and fight some big like, fucking tank. Mm. You know what I mean? It's compared to going and sitting all like people out for a night out. People are there to have fun. Mm. You know what I mean? all, yeah, that's one of the things I sort of say to people who start. You know, like people who come to comedy are automatically on your side. Like they want you to do well. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. they don't want to come and not laugh. Yeah, yeah, there'll be one person like and I'm like one of a million who's like, yeah. you always got that, but then <laughs> that person, Barbara, yeah. Barbara's there. She's like, oh, still fucking loves it. But like people aren't gonna buy a ticket. 
the not coming last. Yeah. So, so it's like there would be raids in if they're not funny. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I suppose like you're coming, like you're coming at it from a completely different point of view than like the majority of other. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I, the Jordan Robinson's not coming from the boxing background. Do you know what I mean? I'm just <laughs> unless he does like a secret fight club. I do, I, I do believe Could that. Well Jordan, be. if you are watching this, um, but like you know, like you're coming from a different point of view, so like. The, the level of investment is different, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Do you, know, you say you're putting everything? Yeah, like even like I, like I never wanted to be a stand-up comedian. No, like growing up, it's never been a goal of mine. Mm. But um, that's a beauty of life, isn't it? It just takes it, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah, a yeah. different road. Yeah. So, see, one thing I find, I feel like I can go far in this. You really and can. I could lead to something yeah, one hundred percent. But one thing I find from uh, podcasting with boxers and singers and everybody, I almost feel like we're all in the same pot. We're all together. We all yeah. are performing. We're all trying to stand dream out. Chasing. We're all dream chasing. Yeah, mm. exactly. So I find that I have a lot in common with the likes of boxers yeah. who are putting everything on the line, who are getting out of their comfort zone, who are chasing a dream, who are filled with fucking nerves and anxiety and whatever you else. Like, you can't go to an interview and get a job for any of those jobs, like you, you can't, mm. you can't, just, you know what I mean. You can't yeah. like sit in front of like three people, they're the from HR. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? She's another one of these radical people that exist in my head. Um, they're from HR, standing there, CEO. Do you know I mean you, they, they can't? You can't get. You can't go. I want to be a stand-up comedian. I'm going to look in the back of the Belfast Telegraph yeah. and see if there's yeah, any yeah. jobs going. Do you know what exactly. I mean? So you have. Yeah. It's always you. Always have to be. Yeah, you you have know, to bag yourself and take it. You yeah, mm-hmm. and if you if you don't. If you don't believe in what you're doing, well, then you can't expect other people to. And, you know, like entertainment and boxing does go like parallel. You know, like singing or stand up. Like, I can make a comparison because I'm doing both. So, like, I just started your boxing career, you're not getting much money. And you do have. To, people don't realize it. At the start, people are fighting for free mm. just to build a record and get the experience. And then if you're good and it keeps going well, then you start getting good money in. But it's a long process and stand up seems to be the same. Like I am fucking just now start getting a wee bit of money, but it's like 40 or 50 pound. But you're just doing it, but just to get the experience and get their name out there. Mm-hmm. And then if eventually if it keeps going up and up, then I don't know how much comedians can make. But like when you get to the top, obviously there's money you earn. Peter K. Peter Fuck that, yeah. could take 20 years off. Yeah. He has done. <laughs> <laughs> His tickets are out Saturday morning and they're expected to go like fucking lightning. Is there, like, say yeah. if you're at the top of the game, is there big money in comedy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course yeah. there is. Like, Depending on what you do, but yeah, of, of of course there is. TV money's good, like the panel shows and stuff, you would get a good a good few grand for being on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then you have agents fees and things like that, mm-hmm. you know, you have to take off and then you tax are and things like that. But, yeah. yourself, you've, the money you're earning has to go to the people who maybe you maybe need a yeah a, a producer you maybe need a makeup person you maybe mm-hmm. need a you something. might have writers do you need like do you need an agent and a manager the, no the not at all get, no or? no not you would have done five to ten years ago even 20 years ago whatever but nowadays no Just you have your own platforms yeah. you, you can manage yourself we well, look at yourself colin Gaddis, all those sorts of people like you you forged your yeah, you, you forged your name and your present presence. You pre- you know, you you forged it yourself through taking control of things like social yeah. media and things like that, which you know, twenty years ago people didn't yeah. have. You needed to get on new mm-hmm. faces or flipping. That's it. Yeah, like, yeah. Saturday night at the Apollo or something. You know, now everyone has yeah. their own profile. You can you can do your own stuff. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's why why would you? What am I trying to say here? Compromise your creative integrity. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? 100% that. Yeah. yeah. Because like the likes of my podcast, I can have on whoever I want. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I can say whatever I want. Yeah. I can spurt whatever shite comes into my head and nobody can tell me nobody's coming back you're cancelled or yeah. why did you do that? Why did you say that? that doesn't it's like, work for the 14 to 26 demographic, Sean. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I remember like, uh, this was like a many, like a long time ago. Um, and like I had this idea of a thing that I kind of wanted to do because I feel as though in Northern Ireland we don't have a lot of like the, the queer representation. It doesn't really happen. I feel as though you know a lot of things that are on TV and made in Northern Ireland are sort of like geared towards this sort of 
very sort of Presbyterian person who lives out in the middle of Tyrone somewhere and we <laughs> don't want to offend them. So we can't have yeah. certain talk, we can't have certain things. Yeah. And I like the idea that I had this obviously it wasn't gonna work because I nobody knew who I was. And then it's like, we like this idea, but we don't know who he is. And I was like, Well that's fair enough. You can't mm. can't get offended yeah. that because nobody knew who I was. Um and it was like um I wanted to do something that's a bit like more queer coded and the person I was working with said, Yes, but we don't want to get into a box tech and exercise. And that really pissed me off. Yeah. It made me feel as though so I know loads of queer entertainers in Belfast and Northern Ireland who are hilarious, who are good at what they do. And if I were to bring them on, are you saying to me that that's just a box ticking exercise just because they're gay, mm -hmm. trans, mm -hmm. whatever? You know, yeah. is that what you're saying? And that kind of it makes and it my, harder. Well, you know, I look, I said, I don't know. Do you know, um, JC Shep, he's, um, he's a gay guy from Lisbon, but he's a CBB. Oh, yes. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, he was in my husband's cafe once. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, he was so, like, running. he put up a thing saying, um, no, like a comment that somebody wrote. And it was like, oh yeah, BBC taking boxes again. And he was offended the way you're being offended. But I would feel like, fuck it, get the, the boxes need tech. 100%. You know I mean? So I'm happy to take the boxes. Like, if don't say, oh, you're only getting that because you're a fucking black, mixed race, Irish guy. So fuck. So, but mm. it was because they need representation as much as everybody else. else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, if, what about the other? Black mixed race, Irish young fellas, yeah. young girls, kids mm. who are going like I say, because like Northern Ireland, you, you knew better than us. Northern Ireland ain't diverse. No, it's not the end of the day. It ain't South London. So you like know? Northern Ireland is so even like compared to the Republic, it's so like totally. backward. Like mm. and um, it's not off backwards, right word. But it's so before it's behind the, the times, times. Uh, a million percent. Like the, yeah. I'll endorse backward, <laughs> just, yeah. but just some yeah. some things, you know, yeah. some things like there isn't. There's the people there. The people are there, the, and they see it. Yeah. So what does it, what does it say? You can't be it if you can't see it. Yeah. So like you know. So I'm doing this you're, for us. You're a hero, <laughs> black Irish comedians. Come on, black Irish comedians. <laughs> Come but, on, uh, man. Uh, I like I I'm of. All four boxes getting ticked, but I don't want it to be like the the many people's talent. Like mm. it's a double edged You have to be yeah. good. You have to be good enough to, to tick that box. But mm. like you're not just we're not letting it. Oh, you're gay, so here, come on. But sometimes you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have to be twice as good. You yeah. Get the box ticked, yeah. and then you're still sort of going up. But, but I just, that that'll always just stick in my head. If I thought to myself, God, like she's just sort of like. But I, yeah, I totally I hear what you're saying. I agree with that. It has to. It has to start. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to be good enough to take the box, but you don't. You, you don't want people to take it away from me. Going, you're only I'm on TV, not. but that's only just because you're gay or you're black or you're a woman or yeah. you're, you know, like yeah. you're a minority. But I always remember because I had on drama in school for eight levels, and I was like, I really want to be on TV. Like I want to be an actor. And my drama teacher said, to me, like, tell me, you know, you would um, you would he had a. Where are you from, Balmain? Yeah, you definitely get something. <laughs> <You're> definitely. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but it, you know, because you're a color and all. What the fuck are you trying to say? Sir? Jesus Christ! No, 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 definitely. You know, they're reaching out for people like you. What and you I don't know is that every time he went home, he was watching the Luther box set. That was his dream. Well, there we go. That was Elvis. 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 He's the he's the one from Balmain. Is that from Balmain? Is Elvis? Well, um, like him saying it, but Ed, Ed never. How did, you, how did you feel? How did you feel whenever he said that to you? Because that's like a. Do you I know, thought like, fuck that's we did drama. Yeah. Oh, you did. Like it was going fuck there is. An opening for me to get in. <laughs> this is big culture way of saying it. And you'll get something high. You'll get, you know, like, you're not, you're not bad. You're not bad. You're, you're, you're not, he's talking for a while. You'll get a jab. They're going to earn the skills. <laughs> but, uh, but I, like, I didn't take a fat to it, but I was no. going, like, fuck. Happy I days. Happy days on it. Mm. Because there is, it is about time, but no people did get represent, representation. Man, people. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, I remember friggin', you know, people do get upset about things, and it is it is offensive if you are just a, a box ticker. But um, I remember, like we were doing our we um, play, you know the the test mm. for for drama. And everyone had to wear the same clothes. We're all wearing white t-shirts, 
black trousers and black shoes. And um, the wee adjudicator come out and he's like, right, so they're all wearing the same, <laughs> they're all wearing the same clothes. Uh, so how can um, I can tell his part? Is there any anything distinctive when he sees? Liver was like, right, I'm so <laughs> I was like, I have a wee mole. On my <laughs> and he was like, he looked at me, he was like, okay, mole on my hand. <laughs> 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 well, you know, that got in there, but I know I, 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 I won't take that anything. And my friends who know, like I was still mates with this, this day, who were in my movie drama, I was like, you have to say about that instead. I, like, I will, I will eventually. You were saying that, and I was like, this is going to be a clip, but now that you're going to put down that bit, I'm not going to use no, that as a clip. Use no, 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 no. I'm not going to put that there, and then you do it on stage. No, there's, just, there's, no. Plenty, there's plenty more stuff like that. <laughs> Whenever you do your stuff, like 95% of the things that I do is like real. Like it's actually uh, same, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just don't bally so we but on it, just mm. the, but it's all like, I don't want to be accused of stating somebody's jokes no. or anything, because there is, there is definitely like, people have the same line of thought. No, like we're all, mm. The human race is all connected, so we are yeah. thinking the same things. But um, Your experience my own experience is, is like, I can never take somebody else's material because this yeah. is my life. Mm. Like, I can't tell, but even like, I, I couldn't tell your jokes. Yeah, it won't work. Exactly. Like, so, that's shit, that's not, uh, that's you don't have a mole in your hand? What are you talking about? I don't know. Show me your hand, you not. <laughs> all, all my stuff is like through my experiences, like, and um, mm. I think that's the best way to, to, mm. to go because there is. I've heard about people and you know, like stealing jokes, and comedians are raising about even in that it's all nice. all it's around world. Tommy, what do you call him? James yeah. Corden stole a joke off Ricky Gervais, who yeah. in turn did he steal that joke off somebody else? And then it's all been like, no way, really. And so you stole that joke off Socrates, or yeah, you know, it was like it's all the time. You stole that joke off no one. It's in the Bible. It <laughs> <laughs> must be for me. Yeah. <laughs> it has lasted forever. If the DP are to believe six thousand years of the human race, do you know what I mean? But like, it's like, yeah, it must be funny. But yeah, it's a whole. But yeah, if nobody, if somebody was to take. And that I sort of say it wouldn't. I'm not worried about any because yeah. it's very bit like. I, it's more my think. thing, you know, where people can like. I've I've had loads of stuff stealing on me. I've had maybe one or two comedians in the past say to me, "Oh, that's I do that joke or something similar," and I've been like, "Well, I've been doing it for ten years. Yeah. And they've been gigging for three years. Do you know what I mean?" And yeah. I'm like, "Well, there you go. Do you know?" Yeah. But I, I, just, I mean, what do you, what do you do? Like, like if there's like if it's if there's like a parallel, fair enough. Do you know what I'm saying? As mm. you say, like, uh, we're all... Yeah, it's different for you. You have stories to tell. Yeah, but no, but like, if, if you sort of, like, crossed over with somebody else, but it's still from your, mm. from your perspective your yeah. or whatever. Like, even um, when we done that gig up in Fenton's gig, what was mm -hmm. it? Up Maher Felt. Maher Felt, Felt, yeah. And um, so I was sitting... That was my second one. So the first time when we were up in... Cold Island, we're in the kitchen, so I didn't see anybody. No one stayed there. There's no wee green. So room, up like where I was just sitting at the back watching everybody going on, and um, uh, Bronna Damon, she got up and she, oh, she's so funny. Right? I love her. And Brilliant. She got up, and then it was like, she's from West Belfast, <laughs> and she's from Lanadoon, where I'm from. She's a boxer. And, uh, <laughs> she's a boxer. She's she's a boxer. But like, she, she's a fucking ball. And she's just, but everything, it was like, she was from West Belfast. She fucking, I think she had four kids. Um, she married a mixed race guy. And it was like, when she brought him home and his, him, what he's going, he's going, fuck me. It's just my whole set. <laughs> and she was fucking hilarious too. And everyone was in stitches. And then I was like, how the fuck my man to go up after her? And then, you got and you go, hello everyone, I'm Bronan Diamond's yeah. husband. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I've done that I'm Mr. Diamond, the real <laughs> Well, um, I was like, have you ever met her husband? He's such a no, lovely guy. No, no. He's like really London, and he's like, he's really, he's really, oh, he really he'll come up and yeah. that was really good, that was really good. He's really, really nice. He's, he's a lovely guy. Well, he might stay away from the shows, because it'll ruin my act But no, uh, I, I was like, I was going, fuck me, this is like everything, but, as you say, it's my Your experience, own. and and then it was funny as well. I mm. did that gig um, recently, about a month ago. 
Bahar Felt. Bahar Felt. Mm. And um, it was a night that I found out that I had kidney stones. And it Fuck. was awful. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I was <went> so... <laughs> so what, what is kidney stones? So, like, it's like a sort of, like, I don't know, like... I just, I just know it from Joey and Friends. Joey. You know, the doctor, kidney stones. He's like, could oh, it be anything else? Kidney stones. I mean, it's like, covered the pain of it. Like, it was really? Just, like, that it was, bad? I was... <laughs> Fuck very man. unsexy but I could feel this pain just in the back of my back and I was like oh, shit we're in the car my, my, thankfully my husband was like I'll, I'll, I'll go, we'll go to the gala tonight and he drove and I we went down and I could feel this oh my god this pain and I got up and like, I was like in the second half and I was thinking I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just going to set fire to myself I can't deal with this pain I just can't even set fire to I'm going to burn the place down um, it's the only this is the only logical thing that I can do with this amount of pain that I'm in not get a painkiller on him yeah burn just down. burn the place down it's your but first train of thought just like just the Lurgan man in you isn't it just burn it down um, and so I was like I kept like walk like having to walk the pain I know do you ever have that pain where you just yeah, keep walking yeah. walk. so I was like going out and thank God there were hardly any people in you know like the wee bar bit and mm-hmm. everyone was in the actual hmm. function room and um, I was walking out and I was walking around I'm sure and I, how I actually had to go over to Fenton and explain to him what was going on I think I was I was worried that he was going to think is he on something <laughs> and he's going to go on stage and like just like go off on a once do you know what I mean <laughs> just go like man well, just like uh, thank you all for supporting me in my sobriety journey um, <laughs> as you can see it's going swimmingly um, so I was like I had to go and this is what's happened so I went on stage did my wee bit it went it went really it went really well but I didn't know what was going on with me because I was talking to a fellow in the audience <laughs> it was so weird I don't know it was just it was, it was a weird thing this song was found in the audience and I could hear him talking but his, his lips weren't moving and I thought dude you're having dude, you're having a stroke you're having a stroke get 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 get, get as soon as you get off the stage you need to go to the hospital <laughs> um, after you burn the place down was, is the fella in front of the fella who I thought oh, right. I was talking to he was talking he thought I was talking to him and I thought I was talking to the fella behind him so I was like what? <laughs> so he was talking away to me another fella wasn't moving I was going how's he fucking doing this how's he fucking doing this I can't how much do I react to this do you know what I mean so much like should I let on that I'm having a mental break <laughs> <laughs> should I should I not move oh actually in the middle of a psychotic break everybody so if you don't want to go for a wee drink uh, but, but thankfully no it was just the guy in front he thought I was talking to him I was talking to the guy behind then I realised shenanigans and hilarious ensued um, but yeah it was really it was really sore because like I was sweating and everything and I think if anybody thought do you know who was really good do you know the, you know the guy who was obviously on drugs he was quite good that night you know? <laughs> <laughs> he was quite funny you know? the, guy, yeah, he was obviously, the guy bleeding from the mouth <laughs> fucking crouched over yeah <laughs> <laughs> Did you get sorted in the end? Did, um, like, what happens? Is it an operation, or does it just no, go you away? No, just have to take pain relief and wait and drink loads of water and yeah. like just wait and see. And then, you know, do you pass it or something? No, I don't. I don't. Sean, I don't I'm, know. I'm afraid. Like, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm so glad. This is one of the things I'm so glad about not being like a woman or a person with a uterus because I'm so glad that. I cannot get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that way? Yeah. I, I imagine being pregnant, being like on a roller coaster and then being at the very top and then changing your mind. Can I, <laughs> can you stop? Can we just stop this and I'll just get off now? I don't want to, I have no. I've That's called that. a C section. I thought it, yeah. We do talk. <laughs> yeah. Can't, yeah. Yeah. I don't know roller coaster. Get up and go. Fuck. I don't want to get off. I just close my eyes. Yeah. yeah. My I first time I ever ran on my out because it tugs up. That's yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, you want to have a clock in to go click. It's when you go so far back, and it's when your cheeks fall back to your ears. Do you know what I mean? It's when you, you when you're like this, and then you're like, oh fuck, how steep is this going? Because what goes up has to come down. Yeah. Do you ever go to Tato Park in Tanda Gay? Is, is that? It's a double. Oh no! Oh. Southern Tato, the, the second class Tato. Oh, that's the, is that, is that up so here, you were? Do you know what happened? That's no, why, no, that's not even. That's why Ireland will never be united. It's got nothing to do with history. Like different 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 do you know what? <laughs> Fiona did videos recently for Tato. She had yes. to do like three uh, in, in the car, sort of uh, promoting their new brand of crisps, Rough Cuts, I think they're called. And she had a pair of socks each. She had like a wee goodie bag for each person. But when she gave one over to somebody, a sock must have fell out and was left in the house. And I got up this morning and there was only one sock at my door. And I was like, there's a tato sock downstairs on the microwave. I went down and just stuck it on. So I have like two odd socks on. That's, that's serendipity. That's sock, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that one Tato sock. <laughs> Send us more crisps, please, Tato. <laughs> please do. Yes. Yep, if please. you should be. Yeah. What's the dream in comedy, lads? What's the goal? For me, uh, I want to do um, Netflix and the Odyssey next mm. year. I'm next year? <laughs> uh, I don't know. See, to be honest, I don't know. If, I don't know what the dream is. I just want to. You just, just go with the flow? Just go with the flow. I actually would like the. For, like being a film, I'd love to be in a mm. big film. Now that we ship one that nobody seen, you no, know, like be oh, like did Avatar you see my movie. Hmm. I seen Avatar, so can I? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, I I think like the lead in the something big. I don't know what it is, like, but hmm. I want to be in a film. What kind of character do you see yourself playing? I want to be um Mr. T. Sun in Creed Four. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't really put much thought in this, have you? I've, just, I've, I've, I've I came out like, like just fucking. No, have to take a I've sent so many of those all sorts of things on it. There. I haven't read one of them. Really? Well, I think I could nail that role. Well, <laughs> we've got a surprise for you today, haven't we? Oh, no. Why ain't that read for us? Go play Black Comic. Well, nah. Uh, I fucking love Ravi. Mm-hmm. And, um,. I would love to be part of the the Rocky family. The Rocky Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> like so if you're watching Slay, come on, open the mails. But hey, he's was... not fucking watching, let's be honest. He's not. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> That's how he got Tony Bailu. He was watching, really? um, he watched the interview of him on YouTube, on mm-hmm. AFL. And then it says, fuck, want to get him in for, for Creed 1. Brilliant. So, um. Not say he, but he, but like, there was no YouTube in the 70s, but like, he wrote. He Rocky. wrote Rocky, you know? mm. Everybody wanted a bat, but they didn't want him to play Rocky. Yeah. Did you hear about him it. selling his dog or something, or he gave his dog away? Did you hear about this? Apparently, he was he was back really in the day. yeah yeah he was re- not recently. Why would he do that? Do you know what I mean? He's meant that's really cruel. You, you have you definitely have <laughs> you the power to look after your Bijan <laughs> Freeze leg. <laughs> Just buy dog food. It's so cheap. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know if he was living rough or he was like really struggling to make ends meet, trying to be an actor, and he had this script which was Rocky the first movie and he had this dog and he fucking loved his dog but he didn't he either didn't have enough money to to keep it because he couldn't it was either feed himself or feed the dog he should just add the dog to be honest do you know what I mean like Joe as you would do depends on the dog though like, you know, no, no, just no eight minutes show, like, yeah uh-huh. no it's nothing you'd yeah, fucking yeah, there's no point. it's like a chicken wing in it but apparently he got to the point where he, he had to either sell his dog or give it away so he gave it away or sold it, whatever it was. But then once he the movie came out and he made his money, the first thing he did was went back to where he had it and bought it back off whoever Aww. he gave it to. So he had his wee dog. Do you not find that like I can I can watch a film where like you know like Rocky or something, somebody's getting beat the fuck clean out of them. See if you see if there's a dog. Like if it's not a dog, it, I'm not. What, I'm not. I'm trying to turn that off. Do you like? It's it such a lot for me to watch. Like I was with John Wick. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, 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 I get where he's coming from. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, the film's been out for 10 years. Um, <laughs> like he killed his dog, like, you know what I mean? What, can you, what do you call him? Your man Greyjoy killed his fucking dog. Um, Jesus. Lily Lily Allen's bra killed his fucking dog. And I'd have been after, I'd, I'd have killed Lily. I'd have been after Lily in real life. Fuck. Lily and her dad and all. The owner, though, would sit and watch, not so much anymore, I think, since we've had our daughter, she's changed a wee bit, but she used to sit and fucking cry just tears after tears watching all these heartbroken videos and she would be all look at this here this wee baby died and i'm like no, no. don't don't show me that shit no. i i'm too weak of a person i i don't I want any of that in my life i, can't do I want to pretend all this shit doesn't exist doesn't she do. fucking scrolls and just watches dogs drowning and people getting fucking <laughs> knifed in the tits and just want to live everything. American tv prime time life where people don't get hurt people yeah. don't yeah. die yeah. people laugh do you every know, watershed you know i mean all problems are solved within 45 minutes maybe an hour with commercials yeah do you know what i mean i yeah. wanted that to be so that's my life that's what i want for my life yeah. you know what i'm saying i have i have like constantly stopped opening the videos no people saying mm. that like people getting chopped up <laughs> or shot no Riddle. it's like i just don't even open them nothing. and it's because it's either something gory or it's your woman screaming so sick. <laughs> it's got a head up now. What's up with you? As soon as he got there, my head hits. Fuck, it looks. Ah! 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 <laughs> Do you know like the videos all started? You're like all these wee videos and like you people have sat in videos and then my friend got sent this video and it was, um, it was like, um, 
uptown funk, gonna give it to you. And <laughs> This is making me laugh. No one's going to find this laugh. Please feel to cut that out. But it was like she said that he had it open in the office and all, and he was laughing and all. It was like, you know, it was senior man Bruno Mars. But like, dun, 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 dun. And on the, you know, it goes, dun, 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 dun. Slap. Oh, and on the slap. This guy's dick on his face. <laughs> <laughs> The way you did that there, it was like a four foot deck. Is that what it was? Like it a, was, it's it a was pretty slapper. Yeah. yeah. Sure. It, was, it was a fucking bond. Like, do you know what I mean? It was definitely. But it, where, where do you, like those kind of videos, the only place for them is WhatsApp. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where, there's where nowhere else you can post that video. Yeah. Do you mean like Sh- Shazzy Shaggo, whole career rests on WhatsApp. Yeah, do you know really? Used to the same Joe. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, She's put a she put a shout out to right. the one of the girls who works in my husband's cafe, um, because she knows she, she knows a girl who knows a girl who knows a bag, um, um, <laughs> and he she was like I got oh walking along, don't know he shared it I'm on my mate Louise um must go down get away cup of tea um I'm, I'm actually on my mate's TikTok here because I've been banned um from my own till Freddy um roll on Freddy um <laughs> 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 and it was just. <laughs> It's just so funny. It was just so. It was just. She's a legend. She is a legend. She's. Is she famous? She's Northern Ireland famous. Yeah. She's like Frostbit boy famous. That's not. That's that's borderline worldwide. Frostbit. Is it Frostbite's top tier? Isn't he? I don't know. Even though he's living fucking. He's in legendary. Speaking Irish in Galway somewhere now, yeah, isn't he? he? Living in a fucking cave with a big beard and all the things. He does. Well, he's got a big. He has his head. Yeah, he's got a big beard and he doesn't don't look like himself anymore. Doesn't mm-hmm. have the have the wee louvers. Have all the wee louvers. I always wondered like if he was just slagging. No, when he you apparently it, it was fake. Dead. Apparently he did it for a laugh. But I've no. heard him talking and he does talk like that. Mm. But I think he maybe just cultured himself up like oh, right. hardcore for that video. Hardcore, apparently. So funny. Mm. You see, people from Belfast would think we're culties. Yeah. Anyone I'd say to Belfast is a culty yeah. to, to Belfast people. Is that right, yeah, Tommy? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like, whenever you leave Belfast, it's a bit like, you know, the bit in the others, whatever, um, Nicole Kidman's trying to get out of the house and it just turns all into mist. And then she comes walking <laughs> back and she's back just at the house. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's for, Bel- for Belfast people, that's what the rest yeah. of Northern Ireland's like. Mm. It's like, the, the chills are very sensitive. <laughs> um, you, know, you kind of just walking into the mist. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, there's other places. Like, how, did you, how did you bring your way here? Oh, yeah. Way from Belfast. So that's just following me. Sat now. <laughs> <laughs> just followed the same as the Craig Adam. Craig Adam. Is that like Cain and Ear Cork? Uh, <laughs> is the Sat now voice change after <laughs> Lisburn, does it? <laughs> We're going to have to fight. Hey, please take the next left as you're going round. <laughs> <laughs> right, fuck that's Belfast behind you, boy. Keep her trucking. <laughs> She's not red. Keep her in the shade. Ah, fuck it. Go home, son. Go home, son. It's not fucking worth it. On you go. On you go. Yep. Go up a taste sit in the house. That's the step. Sit in the house. It is fucking. It is. I know we're staying, but when you leave Belfast, people's accents all change. Eh? Mm. Like, like five minutes up the road. About, about oh, that, wow. about, like, accents changing, like five minutes up the road, but his, thing about, his cousins came from Australia, and he's like, or he went to Australia, and he drove for two hours, and accents didn't change one bit. Everyone sounds the same. It is fucking weird. But, weird. but then is that... And you're going at totally different. You go, oh, even even so different things, like, we... Like I'm trying to think of things, things that we say. Like I don't know. You're, because we are both learning people. Would you say like, "Where's your man?" I think he's no goat's toe. No goat's toe. I think he's no goat's toe. I mean, he's never heard that fancy. Right. But as soon as I left, it's probably just like the Avenue Road Estate where I grew up mm. in Lurgan. Avenue Road Estate, shout out. Um, <laughs> Avenue Road Estate, massive. Um, um, but like Chazzy Avenue, Chazzy Avenue. <laughs> North Square, if everybody knows that, <laughs> North Square, um, Heartland. But like, yeah, we would like, I'd leave and like, people don't know what, like, how can him? Or he's dressed like your hand. Never heard he's any of those. I'm dressed, a lurgan man. Fancy. Look at your man. Look, I'm, I'm stinging him, I like it. Or he's that bad crack of the week. Yeah, I've heard that, I've definitely heard that before. Bad crack Did it say hey up in Lurgan? No, no, that's a Balamina thing, isn't it? Aye, they wouldn't say. Derry, they would say that, I think, yeah. occasionally too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. You just do that there now, hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but here's, th- speaking of slang words, right, this is a fucking excellent segue because it's brought me into a wee game that I want to play before we wrap things up, right? <laughs> and it was, wasn't it? <laughs> this uh, game is called Gen the Reveal, right? I'm going to give you some Gen Z 
words, like slang words, yeah. and I want you to try and tell me what they mean, and you'll get a point for each one you get right. I'm 42 in two weeks, John. I don't know if this is I'm going to be big. Are you fuck? You're 42. I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm Gen X. I'm six, I'm six weeks from being a millennial. Oh, you must have. Must have. When were you born? 80. November 80. Right. I'm December 83. Do you be a millennial? Because it gets from 81. I'm a millennial. Right, right. I, I don't get all the terms, but Gen Z is the latest one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. The, the current kind of... Zeitgeist. The vape guys, yeah. The vape um, So I'll throw words out and you tell me what they mean and you get a point for each one. Try and keep score yourselves, right? Because right. I, I, I'm sure to keep in scores. Right, let's go. So the first one, yeet. What does yeet mean? Tell me, yeet. how old are your you kids? Want, I don't know what yeet... I couldn't actually give you a definition, yeah. but I know... <laughs> When they say it. Yeah. <laughs> when when, when would you say it then? They took a shot or something. Yeet. <laughs> like pulling would something. You, but would you like dab when you yeet? But what are you doing there? What did you just do there when you flung your arm? I was grabbing something. Grabbing, grabbing something? <laughs> right. I don't know. Fuck. I, know, I'm I, not, I don't think I it's a just, point. I thought it was just a Gen Z war cry. Yeah. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I sort of like put it back in there. We were going, keep our let. I don't yeah. know. You shout yeet out the window? It was eat. It means to throw. To throw, all right. I'm yeah. Kidding. Yeet is a slang word that functions broadly meaning with the meaning to throw, but it's especially used to emphasize forcefulness and a lack of concern for the thing being thrown. You don't yeet something if you're worried that it might break. So yeet? I was way off. You were, no, you were, I see, when you were doing this, I was like, oh, he's, he's nail on the head, head here, but something. he's pulling something. That's really specific. That's a really, yeah. that's a really niche word, isn't it? That's why I like word, James. They're all niche. So, like, they're like Germans. They've got a word for them. Yeah. Uh, um, well, how old are your kids? What's 15, your oldest? 15. 12, so you should get some of these. I will. You should get some of these because my son um, once says to me, he <laughs> goes, uh, oh, I flex so bad on my teacher today. And I was like, you don't even have muscles. What are you doing? And he was like, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, funnily enough, the next one is flexing. What does flex mean? You're doing like a thing to impress somebody. Like you're sort of like, you're sort of going, oh, I'm driving my Showing family. off. I have a Showing thing. off. Correct. Yeah, I'll give you a point each. Uh, flex is a slang term meaning to show off, whether it be your physique, your belongings, or some other thing you consider superior to those of others. It's often criticised as a power move, considered considered arrogant and insincere. Aye, uh, like it's a, uh, mm. a bit of a shit flex, like. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I've never used that term other than like flexing. Yeah, what it means. I know, I know. That's see by the time we leave here. You're Fucking, flexing. we're all going to be, yeah, yeah, we'll be yeeting each other up the road. <laughs> and if you're flexing, <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, next one. Fucking keeps disappearing on me for some reason. Let me see. Uh, the next one. Here we go. Every time I record podcast, somebody does something in their garden. There's somebody up a fucking ladder now. They know. Last week, somebody was cutting the grass. It's like it's fucking November. I know. It must camera. be the whole street star coming out. The next one, no cap. What do you think no cap means? Not lamb. The cap is the lay. You can, you feel free to, if you want to add no something idea. to that. I imagine, is it like it's all, I don't know, it's, they're not, it's, 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 there's no cap, like, as in, like, there's no capital letters, like, it's all, mm. it's all lower key. Say what I thought it would, you, you're no cap, he's cap, do you know what I mean? Because he has a hat on. Oh, oh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's what I'd have took from that. Yeah, no idea. No idea. No cap means no lie or truth. Yeah. Well done, Tommy. Are you, are you keeping scores at 2-1 to you? I think, no, I think that's 3-1. I'm not sure the first is one, we didn't, we didn't get yeet. You didn't get yeet. Hmm. That's right. Just eating that out there. No cap. <laughs> the next one is drip. What do you think drip means? I don't know this one because... I've heard that song. I'm sorry well, for dripping. The reason why drip I, is what I do. I got my hair cut and I gave my wee girl and her mate a lift at wherever we were going. And um, her mate said after... um. Your dad's so drippy. No, is we fade now? Like, Your dad's dripped out. He's going, that's right, I am. I start flexing. He's like, like, uh, like your, your like, drip, it just like, like two your style came out. Yeah. Yeah. on flake. <laughs> that's, it pretty much is that, yeah. 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 It means like <laughs> sexy, you're, you're in style, yeah. you're, yeah. 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 Two days in the two days in the on flick. Hmm. Eyebrows were on flick. Eyebrows were on flick. 
I'm dead. What do you think I'm dead means? I don't know. You can make a song. Like you're cancelled or whatever? I don't know. Okay, move. That's... No, I think that's just cancelled, isn't it? So you're just cancelled? Yeah. yeah. Um, Tommy's right again? Yeah? Oh, you're... Oh, I'm, in with the I'm dead. Thing, yeah. you, you really are. It must be because you have kids in that age group. And he is only 32. Do you know what I mean? True, yeah. yeah. I'm a millennial. Man. Are you? Yeah. Millennials is from... I think it's from 80 to 97 or something. Is millennials oh. or 96. No cap. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Uh, simp, <laughs> simp is the next one. Oh, you know what like simp a, means? Like a kind yeah. of like a like a beta meal, like a kind of yeah. cook type of a guy. Yeah, that's a perfect example. Beta meal. Is that? You can tell me if he's a right or not. Simp is an insult aimed at men who are seen as too attentive and submissive to women, yeah. especially out of a failed hope of winning some entitled sexual attention or activity from them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll give you both a point for that one. Yeah. And see, simp the fucking right? helicopters now. What is that short for? Like simple? Simple? simple. Simpleton. Simpleton? Now, but see, that's a different or, meaning. Or simpering. See the Gen Z, mm. they cannot claim that term, right? Because I don't want this to ostracize me after this next day, but I was obsessed with pimps growing up. Like, I just <laughs> pimps, pimp culture. And I used to read for small and watch dog man. That's why he's in comedy. And, like, <laughs> I just call it the. I just, no, I don't know. Where's I just my money, it. bitch? So, <laughs> I forget, I'm like an encyclopedia when it comes to pimps or whatever. Fucking hell. And pimps call people like regular guys who, you know, like who are whipped. They're simps. Oh, right, and right. Anyone who's doing stuff for women or spending money on women hmm. to try and get them. You no, know, like if you're weighing and dining on a girl or taking girls out on dates, you no. Know, but you're not getting your no. pain. You're paying for everything, even if you're arguing, but you're paying for it. You're, simp. you're a simp. Was would a simp be the opposite of a pimp? Yeah, complete opposite. Right, and, right. Uh, they the pimps got this because pimping is um to take a justification from the Bible, right? Because <laughs> there's stuff in the Bible about you know like having women and you know there's loads of stick like, them in a tent when they're having, all the shit about when having a period. Hey, go love. No, like the Bible. <laughs> Pimping, pimps use the Bible to start quoting scripture and all sort of God. <laughs> and it's like, it's biblical. Now, Matthew, Matthew 12. Chapter and, uh, said, I wish I had the quotes off, off the top of my mind yeah. that I could give you some scriptures that is, you no know, like the bag of Pimping, but um, there's things in it about simpletons, what the simpletons are doing for women. So that's where they started questioning Regular people, simps. Simps? Fucking hell. So it's but not even a Gen Z thing. Yeah. Gen Z. That comes from the Bible. They've yeah. adopted it. That comes from the Bible. That comes from the Bible. 1970s. The Pimp Bible is the King, Hand or what is it? The yeah, King James Bible. The King James. So I had to never say the King Henry. King Henry. But the King Henry. James. It's your King Henry. Bible. Maybe. You know what I mean? Right. What's the scores here? 4-2, we say? 5-3? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Low key is the next one. Like understated. Yeah, I would like keep it low yeah. key. Don't keep it discreet and understand. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, you're only it's a uh, if you're actually really excited, but you're only showing it a little. So yeah, it's same oh, same so kind of thing, like same kind of thing. Crowd. Yeah, or low key. <laughs> keep it low key. Yeah. Hipster. Yeah. Hipster. <laughs> On Wednesdays we were back. Rent free. Or like you'll say like oh that clip lives in my mind rent free like it's something that just you think about all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or that or somebody living in your head rent free. No. Mm -hmm. like, Ah, yes. Some, you're just thinking about something all the time. I live in your yeah. Rent free. Yeah. Yeah. Like me, but I'm not thinking about yeah. yeah, you can't stop thinking of someone or something. Cap? Delay. The delay. Or no cap? Yeah, so we've done that one. Did we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Right, let's move on then. Ghosted? No, no cap. Oh, <laughs> just like... Ghosted, just to... Leave him, like, just like no taxing, you just walk yeah. out of your life. Or like, that's a show on NTV. Uh, ghosted. Yeah, word. yeah. I can't actually think of another word for ghosted. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, it just... It's a very modern term, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. like, you didn't have, like, you could have ghosted somebody in the past, but because you, you know what I mean? You yeah. Because now you can... talk to them, man. Mm -hmm. You just don't talk Dumped. to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Cost her <laughs> Yes. Out of your life. <laughs> uh, yeah, to stop communicating with somebody out of the blue, so it's, yeah, you've pretty much got that one nailed on. Um, on, fleek, <laughs> on fleek. On fleek. Something's on fleek. That's old, isn't it? That's not mm. that's not Gen Z. I don't know. See, Gen Z trying to claim a lot of stuff. They are, aren't they? Like, yeah, yeah. 
to, there's a trend going on here, like they're appropriators. Yeah, mm. of other of other conflict. That's old. That's like on point. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. They're flawless. Glow up. Like a like a like a makeover. Like do you know, like yeah. um, like, like what an do you ugly call, duckling. What do you call your wee fella from Harry Potter and Neville? Neville Longbottom. Uh huh. He had a glow up. Like he, what I called was, that's, he was like a rough looking wee fella, do you know what I mean, rolling teeth and all. And now he's all going about with six pack in his drawers, do you know what I mean? He's all like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. He's went through a, a, a positive oh. physical, mental or spiritual change, would you say? Yeah. I, exa- oh, you took a exactly that. Notes, that's exactly how I would say it. Right, this is the last one, right? So we'll say that you are, we'll say you're level up tonight, right? Because you've answered them on behalf. Yeah. Tommy's agreed, but you've answered them, yeah, so we'll right go with there, right. I, I feel as though a, six a, a win for me is a win for yeah. Tommy. Yeah. yeah. So I feel as though yeah. a win for either of you is a win for our generation. Yeah. Really, truly, truly. Really. The final one is Stan. What's the meaning of Stan? Because I, I see people saying I stand, I stand friends. It's like being a, a super fan, isn't it? But it's like a mental fan because I like, can stand. <laughs> stand, yeah. Girl, I'm wondering why. That's so exactly that's where the term comes from. They put the fucking girl in the boot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're friends screaming in the trap. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking psychotic by the end of it, wasn't he? I mean, you mind, Dav- was it what do you call him? Davin Davin Sauer? Remember he was like, oh, yeah, the actor who played. Then the, the music video, we do. Yeah, I fucking hate that song. Do you? I, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, I it. it's a real. She, I, I quite liked some of Dido's stuff, but it was very um. It was like female equivalent of Coldplay. Yeah, you know I mean? and so yeah, insipid. Adele esque, but beige. Hmm. Yeah, but th- that's that's what it, <laughs> that's you're what right, Tommy. From. Anyway, so th- we'll, we'll say Tommy's the winner on that one because okay, he's. Okay. Because he's younger, he's closer to that I, generation. I agree. With, I think if I'd have won, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have got it. I'd, have, I'd have lost the run on myself. I'd have, I'd have <laughs> You'd have been disowned from your family. Like, I'd have taken all the class and then I'd have made a pair of myself in front of some... Like, he's fucking very embarrassing. He's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Lads, thanks so many for coming on. Thank really appreciate it. It's been it's just been great fun. This is the first episode of the Sean Haggerty Show. Um, we're going every Thursday on Spotify, YouTube, and blah 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 everywhere else where you get your podcasts. Where can people find you online? Um, just I say just look up my name like, and the only David Doherty Jeb J E B B. Um, and you just look me. The Jeb in there. Jeb is me. Yeah. Jeb is me. Doherty's my husband. Just like people to know that. Mm. That's a good thing. That uh, a question. <laughs> Did you answer? Because I always wondered which one of you when they get married, when same sex couples get married, who takes whose name? Oh, so does it go double barred? Oh, you do what you want. want. You do my wife want, right? went double barred because she loves her daddy. So the who did? His name. Hey. My wife did. Mm. Oh, right, right. And um, mm-hmm. uh, and my two of my cousins got married, and they took they double barred their name and took their wife's name. Oh, okay. Simpson. Mm. Yeah. Simpson's all time. No cap. No cap. No cap. I actually got a little bit of no caps. <laughs> in the that says that we wrong. Oh, do you, what do you call that program on Netflix? Who wants to get away with murder? <laughs> That's exactly it. We wrong. Well. Um, but yeah, Simpson said, um, <laughs> I'm just Tommy Mac 90 on the ring. But it's, the main thing I just used is Instagram. I have a Twitter, but 90 is the year you were born, is yeah. that right? No cap, no and cap. I'll, <laughs> millennials representing, and um, <laughs> uh, mostly if you want to interact with me, it's on Instagram, but only on not in street, not mm-hmm. in the street, just walk past, yeah, do, maybe do that. <laughs> Keep it, keep it hipster. Keep it, <laughs> keep it low key. Yeah. Lads, cheers. Thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget, tickets for Home Alone are right now. Um, you can get us all on social media. The Whiskey and White. Whiskey and White show. Um, go and subscribe to it, please, on YouTube and it's on Spotify and all the other things as well. And it's on TikTok. I don't really use TikTok, but we have one for the for the show. With clips and stuff. Just clips. All right, we're gonna yeah. start doing gonna start doing TikTok challenges because they're all they're all in that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's well on flake. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to, um, You're flexing now. Like, come on, up, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no, you're <just> tough. <laughs> He's a <away>, wedding flex. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That's it. Let's get show. Happy days. And we're all gigging in the Balmoral Hotel on Friday night as well. So if you enjoyed this podcast and you want to be weird and sort of flex on us on Friday night, get down to the Balmoral Hotel. Four tickets left yesterday. They could all be gone now, but chance your luck if, if you're if you're seeing this online, you fancy going. Or just show up at the door and chances are they might let you in. Like, fuck me. Who sells out and doesn't let anyone in? Just come on in. Sneak in. Say you're with us. Say you're you're with one of the comedians. Yeah. Cheers for your ears. See you next week for a brand new episode. Thank you.